Hello, my name is Juan Lugo, and welcome to MHS Technology Committee screencast on how to use Orange Slice rubrics in your grading. Orange Slice is a rubric grading system that you can use in conjunction with Docs, Google Docs, in order to grade your exam or essay or homework by using a rubric. So let's begin. First off, we want to come up here to New, click Google Docs, and create a new Google Doc. We want to name this doc. For this one, we're going to name this rubric Writing Rubric. Sorry. Now, we want to go to Add ons and Go to get add-ons. In get add-ons, you can get all these neat add-ons for your docs to use. So in this instant, we're going to search for orange slice. Orange slice. Now we have two versions. We have the teacher rubric. This allows a teacher to add a rubric to the student's um, assignment and use the rubric for grading. Student rubric is great for pair share or group work you could have the students uh, add it on to their Google accounts and then we can have them grade other students assignments then you could take that grading and look it over and see how well they grade the assignment and you could even attach your own rubric to it in order to grade the assignment so now I already have teacher rubric today we're going to be talking about the teacher rubric so I already added it on so I'm going to X out So now, in our add-ons, we have orange slice here. Once we click it again, we will see score rubric. Score rubric allows us to build our rubric. So let's check it out. As you can see, we have this little box. And this box will be populated with other cells that have information that we want. As you can see over here, we have different options to pick performance levels. We have performance levels. So if you want to grade it from A to B, descending or ascending from C to A. So I'll choose uh, descending. We also have performance levels. We have the regular approach, traditional A, B, C, D, and F. We can even use uh, titles such as great, good, average, needs more work. We can be creative and use emojis, and we can also make our own and just have a blank rubric and paste it in. So for mine, I'm going to use traditional. Now you see here that we have ideas, sentence fluency, vocabulary, conventions, organization, presentation, voice, and a black blank one, and also completion. So let's choose ours for writing. So we want to do ideas, sentence fluency, vocabulary use, conventions, all great things, organization, presentation, We'll take off organization, voice, and uh, got this one, blank row, and that it was completed. Next, next, we will scroll down to create rubric, and we'll see that the rubric is created over here. In our rubric, we have all our categories. It shows you the grade on top, A, B, C, D, or F and how to achieve each goal but on the bottom we have our blank row here in our row we're going to put in format we'll say excellent MLA format very strong 
MLA format. MLA. And lacking MLA format. As you can see, we have our rubric done. Now, score the rubric. How do you want to store it? Do you want to score it holistically or in analysis? Let's do analysis. In analysis, we could put the total points of the rubric. Say you want to do 100. And you could select the passing levels, which is great. You can set the passing level for 65 for a D. You can have performance levels. Do you want it descending, A to C, or ascending? We'll do descending. And do we want to include the rubric even though they faded? They failed. Yeah, let's include it. Now we've created our rubric. So what do we do with this? We created this rubric. Now we want to find an assignment that we want to attach it to. Once you make your template, you could you could store it in your drive and have it as writing rubric. All we have to do is copy the entire rubric. Control C. Go to our drive and find an assignment. So we'll use this one. I'll place my rubric right here, my cursor, go to edit, paste, and now my rubric is attached to the assignment. Go up to add-ons, go to orange slice, and score the rubric. Orange slice will automatically show you the grades for the rubric, we have grades. So let's just say we had clear ideas was an A, sentence fluency was a B, vocabulary was an A, we had a very few errors in conventions, the presentation was somewhat strong, we have uh, voice was very strong, and we had excellent MLA format and they completed the assignment more than 90%. Now, all we have to do is process the grade. We can also adjust grades. If it's extra credit, you can add 5%, 10%, or choose your own. If it's late, you can also undo late. You can make it 5%, 10% or more. Or if it's 100% too late, just pick this this option for 100% too late. Then we have undo plagiarize and 100% not accepted. And also we have a slot to put in whether or not it's 50% or 20%. Now let's take a look at the process grade. As you can see, it automatically highlighted the boxes where I chose. Also, what's great about Orange Slice is that it automatically tabulates what the student received on the assignment 91 points 91 percent it tells you the day that it was handed in and the grade you may also include any comments that you need in here furthermore it also attaches it to the name of the document up here we have we see that Juan received the 91 points out of 91 percent the student's name and the assignment and all you have to do in order to attach this assignment is just copy it open up a child's assignment a student's assignment and paste it in then go to your add-ons choose orange slice join rubric and you're done this is Juan Lugo for the NHS technology committee on behalf of team beard Juan Lugo and Josh Barrett have a wonderful day